Next, we're going to hear from um, experts, installers, uh, who will walk you through all um, that you need to know about heat pumps. And we are going to start with Rob Bayless of Elephant Energy. And Rob is the Senior Project Manager and Wrangler at Elephant Energy, a climate tech company on a mission to electrify everything, starting with homes. He's passionate about helping people evolve their energy consumption and improving the comfort of their homes in the process. Prior to Elephant Energy, Rob worked in various engineering and consulting roles across the energy economy. Welcome, Rob, and thank you for joining us. Hey, thank you very much. And sorry, my uh, video is being a little funky today, so I may just keep it on audio so it doesn't glitch out. Um, I think we had some slides, perhaps, to share. Awesome. Um, thank you very much. Uh, again, uh, I'm Rob Bayless. I work for Elephant Energy. We're based in uh, uh, Boulder, Colorado, and we work uh, along the Colorado Front Range right now. And um, we uh, work with people to electrify their homes and, and help them make their homes more comfortable. Um, so I think we can go to the next slide. Um, everybody here um, kind of knows uh, what a large impact uh, people's homes uh, can have on, on climate change and, and their uh, carbon emissions, that 37% or so of um, you know, emissions kind of come from the home in the U.S. So these are big things that we can kind of tackle. Um, and next slide. Um, and so there are so many things that go into it, and we'll just flip to the next slide quickly. And Elephant is kind of working with people to um, kind of take some of the big bites out of their home, helping people electrify their furnace, their water heater, their gas range, and uh, install uh, electric vehicles. But what we're really going to talk about uh, quickly is heat pumps, which I think are on the next slide, moving um, heat around. Uh, as Senator Hickenlooper said, you know, very, very efficient because they're not having to create heat. Um, even in the winter, they can pull heat from outside and move it inside. And likewise, in the summer, they can pull the heat from out, inside the house and move it outside. Um, so again, everybody hopefully has a little bit of uh, familiarity and background knowledge. Um, and so we were told to keep things short. So I was just going to talk quickly on the next slide about the difference between a couple different types of heat pumps. Uh, lots of people have heard ducted versus ductless. Um, in Colorado, many of the systems are set up to be centrally ducted. That means you have registers in most of the rooms and you have a single furnace or AC unit um, that pushes air throughout the house. Um, that's not true everywhere. Um, places with, with older systems, they have heat oil, they have boilers. Um, and what do you do in that case? Um, you know, and, and uh, it's possible that maybe you use a mini split system. And that's what's on this slide. Um, There's several mini split heads that um, have the refrigerant um, taken from outside the condenser, kind of moved through pipes to a individual head that's on the wall, on the ceiling, on the floor um, in each room. And that allows you like great zonal control, um, which means you can kind of uh, you know, have it be different temperatures in, in different rooms. So, um, you know, we think that's a really great option for uh, people that don't have centrally ducted um, uh, HVAC systems. It's it's really a very cool technology and, and great application. Um, so I think there's one more slide and then I'll, I'll pass the baton and, and people are very welcome to ask more questions. Um, so this is a centrally ducted uh, set up that you see the picture, and it's really just a replacement for your furnace. Um, so, you know, what, who would use a ducted versus a ductless? There's some bullets here. Um, you know, if you have ducts, obviously, uh, a centralized unit makes a lot of sense. Um, if, if it reaches everywhere in your house, if they're in good repair, um, if you're okay kind of controlling it from a, a single point of control, um, you know, if, if any of those aren't true, maybe a, a ductless system is for you. And, and that is really great technology and 
and great options uh, that you could have, um, you know, a number of heads in different parts of your house, all from a single condenser. Um, so, uh, and, and again, we're installing these in Colorado. Uh, this past winter, we had like uh, weather down to minus 18 degrees, which was really cold for Denver. And, you know, we had dozens of heat pumps, um, you know, cranking out heat and keeping people warm. So, um, I know you told us to be a little conscious of time, so I'm happy to kind of stop there and, and pass it on, but uh, please feel free to uh, let us know if you have uh, more questions and I'll try to respond to a few things in the chat if um, that's helpful as well.